Hi, this is the Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike D'Azzolio. Today we're going to talk about Trex rain escapes. We have uh, Griff Overton here from Trex, and he is uh, going to tell us a little bit about the Trex rain escape system. How are you doing today, Griff? Uh, I'm doing great. Great. It's nice to see you. We've met plenty of times before, but uh, we've never had been able to have you on the show like this. So uh, Trex rain escapes. We're going to get go to the website under Trex at Trex.com. Under you'll find it in there under rain escapes. I think it's in the section with the metal framing. So let's uh, take it away. All right. Uh, Trex Rain Escape is an underdeck drainage system. Now we are a little bit unique, whereas we actually go on over top of the joist. And what that does is it protects your joist structure, and at the same time you can have an outdoor living space underneath your deck. Okay, so it's uh, unlike other systems that are done after the deck is done. This one's done after the frame is up, but before the decking goes down, and you need to have a minimum of a 2 by 8 joist on this because you need some sort of uh, projection on this in order to have it fit. All right, let's um, tell us, you only have a few parts on here, yes. and um, why don't we just go right into some finished photos so we can see what you can really do with this. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is... Um, now these are a few of the houses that we've done. Uh, what we can do with the rain escape is we can actually put on any type of soffit that you want underneath your deck. Mm -hmm. You can also put any sort of wiring, can lights, ceiling fans, entertainment systems, you know, because we do protect, you know, any, any sort of electrical underneath your joist. And as we know that um, from statistics that 72% of all Americans are spending a lot more time at their home, and if you spend money on your deck, it's, uh, I also have another statistic that states that you get 83% of your purchase that price of your deck on a return value, which is the highest of all home remodeling projects. And that doesn't include the value of your house rising. So you could build a deck, enjoy it for 7 to 10 years, and then make money on your deck. That's why that building a deck is a uh, cost-effective way to add value to your home. All right, let's go to, let's get into the installation of this. You got it. Let's see if we can, okay, great. We have it right into these little, okay, that one go, take it away, Griffin. Okay, these are our downspouts. And what we do is on each one of these, uh, on each joist, you are going to put a downspout at the end of your deck. Uh, now you can actually run the system both ways. You can run it towards the house or actually away from the house. Most people go away from the house, uh, but you put your downspout at the end of each bay opening. Okay, that's what you do first. Yes. So let's go to step two. And step two is what we do is we roll out our trough material. Now this trough material is, has score marks on it and those score marks you follow those on your joist and what will happen is once you follow those score marks you will get a fourth of an inch pitch per foot so that you don't have to pitch your deck at all. Okay, yeah, that's, that's very important. Yeah, and you just staple that uh, trough material onto your joist. You can cut it if necessary. We have uh, trough material in 12 and 16 foot lengths. And do we have them for different width and joists? Do we have them for joists at um, 12 they, on centers? They, they are made for 16 inch on center, but they're easily modified. Okay, so you can use the same part and make it for 12 on center. Exactly. Okay, so we got, did we, uh, we got the trough. We trimmed the trough off on this one here. Exactly. Okay, putting the decking down. Yes, um, and actually before you put your decking on, we have two sealants. We have a caulking and we have a tape. Now what you're going to do is you're going to tape the joist down and that tape is a butyl tape so it is a self sealant and so that actually helps you out. Number one is when you drill your deck boards down that is a self sealant so that there is you know no water that can penetrate through. Okay we have some uh, some better photographs on how we're going to put this in. Okay there we have the that is our downspout. And you're showing it trimmed out? Yes, that is a 16 inch on center. If you flip it around the opposite way, it is 12 inch on center. So that downspout is a rectangular shape. Okay. All right, so then we're going to go to... Now, no, a lot of people come to me and they say, well, my deck is a little different than everybody else's. Well, you can... And they've taken this into consideration for different modifications. And, yeah. okay, for instance, if you have a cantilever, Yes, we, uh, we can adjust the cantilevers as well as, you know, small joist spacing as well. You yep. know. So when you have a cantilever as opposed to a system that you put on after the deck is done, if you have, say for instance, a 
a deck that's 14 foot out and you have two by tens and you're in 12 foot and then you have another two foot on the other side of the cantilever, you can still divert your, your rain water either toward the house to a, for a drain area or away from it. So you don't, have, you don't get boxed in with the, uh, with the cantilevered beam on that. Exactly. Okay, let's go back to... All right, right here we have the troughs, and uh, why don't you tell us how this is working here? Now this trough, what we what we do is we have a little section that is made to tuck up underneath the flashing, and you just roll this trough material out. As you staple, you will get a fourth of an inch pitch per foot if you follow our score marks. And you staple all that down, and it will start to look like that, and then we will trim off the excess if there is any excess. Okay, so then we have... This section is for that's the cantilevers. Yep. It, yeah, it's an, and yeah, it has a, it's showing up what you do when you have something on an angle. Okay, this was uh, this next one was is quite interesting because this is how it really holds it all together. Exactly. This is our tape. It is a butyl based tape, and when you put that down, it actually number one it seals up the the two trough materials that that hold together and it also is a self sealant so when you drill your deck boards down it will uh, you, you know there will be no water that can penetrate through there we also have a caulking that you can use and that is butyl based as well now people have been asking me for years as whether if these products will keep you hundred percent waterproof and I've said well nothing's going to be hundred percent but after looking at this uh, presentation here that Griff has shown us this looks like it's 100% waterproof. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, capes, it's talk and then it has a little section on what happens when there are obstructions, where something's in the way. Yeah, I, I suppose you can, um, you can take a look at this video and what happens when we have lights. Now this is important because if you're going to do this to your deck, you're probably going to finish it off with plenty of electrical work. One of the pictures there had a television and all that, and you could it'll certainly going to protect the television from any water, and you get the electrical because you know we always know electricity and water they don't mix. They don't mix. Yes, especially if you've ever owned a hot tub. <laughs> yeah, you'll you'll learn that you'll learn that quite quite well. All right, Griff, this is uh, it's a great system. If this is something that you're interested in doing, you can go to the Trex website. You can contact me at Mike at the Deck Network, and I can certainly help you out with any of this at all. But uh, that's about it. Now, a little bit about the Deck Network. This is a video-based website. We find that, uh, well, we've always heard that a picture tells a thousand words. Well, a video, you retain 80% more from a video than you do from a photograph. So that's why we, and because the technology and the way computers work, and as you can see right here, we, uh, we like that type of stuff, that uh, you're going to retain a lot more from watching these videos than you ever will by looking at a, you know, sure the brochures are, are nice and pretty and all, but you, this is how you're really going to get a better feel for it. Griff, that's about it. If anybody has any questions or comments or requests for a Deck Network show, you can write me at mike at thedecknetwork.com. If you're in the decking industry and you're in the New York area, give me a call or write me. We can have you right here on the show. Or we can have you on Skype on the, on the, uh, on the screen back here. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye now.